Hey fam bam, it's Cece. So today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna make a wig. Okay, I haven't done this in forever. And you guys know that I was like the wig queen. I had so many wigs and I am going to be doing a wig collection video for you guys. And I'm also going to be selling some of my wigs. Those of you guys who have been on my Poshmark, you would have already seen that some of them are up for sale. Yes, I'm putting up a bunch of my wigs for sale just in time for Halloween, baby. So anyway, we are going to be making a wig from a new company, Long Kui. Longy. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they sent me three bundles and a closure. So what does that mean? Let me show you. It came in this bag right here. So each one is individually wrapped. Okay, so it is ombre hair. It's really soft actually. Fingers going right through it. That feels really nice. I'm actually really surprised. I was expecting to hate this hair. I don't prejudge until I receive a product, but for some reason, because um, these the link to these was through Aliexpress. I literally thought it was gonna be like shit hair and I was gonna have a negative review but um, Feeling this hair. It's actually quite thick and really soft. It feels amazing I'm kind of kind of in shock. It smells weird. I'm not gonna lie But most hair whenever I get it from any company it has that weird I don't know how to explain it, but it almost has like a burnt smell or plasticky burnt smell, which is so bizarre But this is human hair virgin human hair. So yeah, you can curl it. You can do whatever it's it's from someone's head and This one is already in an ombre caramel colored. I ordered three bundles a 16 inch 16 inch and 18 inch So let's open up the rest of them. So this one's a little bit longer. Here's the different lengths all three bundles feel amazing. They feel thick. Like I said, literally in shock. Here's the heads of the bundles. So I'm gonna open one of them up so that we can see like how long is the bundle. So one bundle, I forgot how to measure, like people that do, don't they measure like this? Like that's a yard, something like that. <laughs> Two. So it's three, exactly. It's like three yards of hair. I thought it was gonna be wimpy, Quimpy hair and it's not it's not at all. It's actually uh, good Relatively inexpensive, so I'm shook to the core motherfuckers. Oh my god. Look at how much hair that is It's like you could do one bundle for hair extensions. That's fucking crazy And I think it was only like $40 for this one bundle. This is amazing. What? Oh shit! Okay, okay. Guys, I thought they were sending me a closure, which is just like a small little section that goes right here. They actually sent like a full frontal, full lace frontal. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh my god, this hairline looks incredible. I'm I'm literally like shocked to the depth of my being, you guys. I thought this was gonna be a disaster. You can part the whole thing. Look at this. You can part it all the way down. Like the whole thing is lace. And I've done some YouTube tutorials, so don't expect greatness from me guys, but I'm just gonna do the best I can. So first I started by putting the cap on my head and then measuring around the frontal and that's what those little white marks are on the cap. So I just used a regular wig cap. However, in hindsight, I wish I had used like the dome caps that are a lot thicker because they hold their shape better. They're more durable and then the glue doesn't seep through them barely at all, apparently. But um, yeah, not for me, folks. I just used what I had at the house. But this glue is really amazing and it dries incredibly quickly. So you have to work fast with it. But it does goop up and clog the little nozzle. So anyway, I did the frontal first. I just glued it around the edges. And then I started at the base of the wig cap. Put glue on it. And then see how it gets stuck? Oh my god. The glue was drying as it was coming out. It was a mess. It was a hot mess, you guys. Um, and then you keep putting the wefts all the way around the wig cap, around the skull in like a curved pattern. I was getting glue everywhere, y'all. Like I was getting frustrated because of the glue. So I did look up on YouTube that you can totally use hot glue, like a hot glue gun instead of this type of glue. And, you know, I just didn't have a hot glue gun at hand. So this is the glue I ended up using. Once I got all the way to the top, there's like these little spaces left. So I just kind of cut pieces that were small enough and made it work. I just fit it all in there. 
there's oh, just so much glue everywhere. <laughs> you just keep cutting, make little, little pieces until the top. And then once you fold the frontal back, it covers everything. So there it is. I let it dry overnight and then I took off the plastic. So here I'm going to be plucking out the hairs and the part because you want it to look more natural and not be so dense because there's a lot of hair along the hairline. So here I'm just also plucking the hairline. Okay, so I finished the wig, here she is. And she has a hat on because I'm trying to like lay down the side part that I plucked so that you can see. There's the side part right here. She is not styled, okay? This is just exactly how the hair came out of the the box the bag if you will because it wasn't a box it was a bag and then i had attached another wig cap inside this is all like the glue and stuff if you've got long hair obviously make sure your hair is in braids a low bun or something so there's two parts you can do on this wig that i created there's the middle part and then there's the side part i'm gonna move it where i want it and then if i were to wear this out i would put um dark makeup in my sideburns right here either like an eyebrow gel or eyeshadow to darken up that sideburn so that you don't see a blonde ass sideburn nobody wants that i'm just gonna wear it over my ears so that it kind of covers my sideburn because i'm not trying to wear this out right now like it's a lot of hair you guys i'm actually surprised because normally i make my wigs with five bundles of hair and this is only three bundles but it feels just as thick as the five bundles it's crazy and then the little ombre at the bottom which you can dye this any color you want I actually think what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cut off the ends and make it like a black bob well it's not black it's like a dark brown but still so I'll get up close I'll turn this down so you can see probably gonna put some concealer in there To like lighten that up in the front so it looks like it connects into my forehead I accidentally got it on the hair that's okay it happens just kind of rub it off but that part's looking pretty natural especially from a distance up close it's still good but I mean obviously it's a wig so you're always going to be able to tell in my opinion that it's a wig if you're looking for it you know so look real from there panda yeah it looks great I was actually like wow <laughs> so when I have dark hair like this, I feel super Italian. I just feel like I'm so freaking Italian looking, which I am half Sicilian. This wig can be worn up. In a future video, I'm going to style it and maybe even cut it. Oh, oh man, look, my blonde hair underneath. I forgot to push it into the wig cap. <laughs> That's funny. Just ignore that. Let me show you from the back. See this? Yeah, it's super thick. Oh my God. It's like the thickest. Mmm. I like it thick. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, we all know I'm a uh, nasty. I like the way it came out. It looks really good. And I'm not a professional wig maker, you know? So I'm sure if I did it again, it would be better. You can get all of these bundles and the frontal on the website I love her I don't know what to name her let's put in the comments below and I'm gonna come back for another styling video in like another two weeks so we shall see her again hopefully she'll have a name by then Monica Monica like Lewinsky yeah! oh my god hope you enjoyed this video love you bye